Okay guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be going over your story and how to use your story to sell. Um, and when I say story, I don't mean making something up completely. I mean, there's a way in which to sell your story that really amplifies the value of something. So there's a way to tell your story because we all have a big story. We have lots of stuff that's happened to us, but there's certain points in your story and the way you structure everything that can amplify the value of something. Um, and really marketing is just, marketing isn't publishing loads of loads of stuff and you know Facebook and YouTube. Marketing is changing someone's belief with the intention of getting a sale. Not in a, not in a nasty way, but really um, what, we're, what we're battling with is a lot of people have limiting beliefs and reasons why like their insight, their mind is telling them, no, you can't do that, you haven't got enough time, or you can't do that because you haven't got this. We're trying to walk them through the process that we went through and uh, a lot of people are going to have the same limiting beliefs and the same reasons not to do something and we want to get them to realize and have that epiphany so there's going to be some resources below here um, but i'll just start today by um, just explaining a few things so um, as i was saying a story amplifies value so for instance this thing can grow rich book the cost of this book is cost is what is it 27 dollars uh, that's pounds 27 dollars there you go so the cost of this book is 27 dollars but so i could sell this book for 27 dollars all down it's an amazing book if i add a story to this book i can add a ton of value and like i'm like i said before a story i'm not telling you to make something up but let's just say for instance that this book has this story attached to it. So this book I actually got in, um, I got this book in Vegas and Las Vegas, I traveled there, I wanted to go there my whole life. Finally got to Vegas, went to an event, for my first event, I overcome loads of limiting beliefs and fears about being around loads of people and you know, um, investing in an event. I actually went to this event and Bob Proctor was actually talking at this event and um, there was a little competition going on and again, I. I pushed for a load of limiting beliefs and entered into the competition and won. And I actually went up on, on stage in front of 5,000 people and Bob Proctor gave me this book and um, you know, he signed it or whatever as well. Now the value of this book, um, you know, if that was the story, the value of this book is gonna be, is gonna be crazy, crazy high, it's almost invaluable. But that just goes to show you guys that um, it's almost like this course as well. This course is, at, to, to this point, this has cost you nothing but time. But if you take this course and you um, and you use the stuff that are, that's inside the course, the value of this course is absolutely huge to you. So cost and value are not always the same thing. Um, so really, mark, to be a good market, you have to learn the art of telling a story and grabbing people's attention through emotions. Um, so down below here, there's gonna be a script. There's gonna be what's called the Epiphany Bridge script. And this is something that Russell Brunson um, and a lot of the mentors inside, you know, his circle teach. Um, and it's how to effectively tell a story. Also in Hollywood, they have um, most films or all films are built around the hero's two journeys. Um, so let me just go over a couple of things here. I'm just gonna chuck that down. Where's mine? Oh. So the Epiphany Bridge, I'm just gonna write it down here. So there's me, I'm happy. I need to get on the journey so we can end up where we want to be, over here, which is happy. And along the way, the most important thing is the epiphany. We need people to have an epiphany and you need to explain why, where your epiphany happened and why it happened. Really the whole aim of um, this structure is to have people um, convince themselves that, they, that this is what they need. In turn, instead of you trying to sell someone, they need to convince themselves and telling your story you, you don't want to be pitching people over here where you've got you know when you get to this point at the end of your journey when you're successful in the business you're in and you've got all this vocab and techno techno babble and you've got the, the community that you're all talking about the product and how amazing it is and talking business and stuff if you, if you try and chuck someone in over here, explain this stuff, you're gonna lose them. You need to explain the story. You need to, that's what you need to base your 
your content round, your advertising round, is getting someone from here through the journey, understand the journey, understand the epiphany. So over here, we've got emotion. You know, when I started, I was lost, I was sad, I was angry. Um, I just signed for a house and been laid off, so I was very upset, didn't know what I was gonna do, I was lost. And then, so I decided to start the journey. I decided to figure something out. I wanted multiple streams of income. So I come through and there's struggle. So it was a struggle to figure out what I needed to do. Um, there was internal struggles. You know, I was telling myself I couldn't do it, I wasn't good enough. There's external struggles. That was rubbing off on the family. I, wasn't, I wanted to just take the kids on a trip or whatever. Um, you're gonna hit walls. I got into my first business. Brick wall, I got into my first business. It was an offer that people weren't replicating. That was a wall I hit. I couldn't, some people were happy. I wasn't happy doing that. So I hit a wall, I had to figure stuff out. I had to start doing content for other people. I wasn't convinced that MLM network marketing was the thing for me. So I carried on the journey all the while I'm learning, I'm pushing through, I'm, I'm growing from everything we're going through. Um, and then the epiphany was um, online marketing, low ticket. You can actually create automated ways so you don't have to approach friends and family. Um, you don't have to get people in on finance and stuff like that. Like other offers where you're ten, fifteen thousand dollars in debt to get started. You can start low ticket. This was huge when I hit this. When I had this epiphany, that this and the fact that I could run. Um, internet traffic to an offer, almost have the whole system automated. This was the epiphany for me. This is the, pe you need to get people through the story so they realize that they can do this and they tell themselves, they go, oh, what is he doing? I can do that, that's what, exactly what I need. Tell themselves that. So after that, you come up with a plan. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm gonna make sure I can replicate this. I'm gonna follow other people in the industry. I'm gonna consume all the, training, everything I need to figure this out and come up with a plan. Then you've got, um, then you've got conflict. So, people can't figure out, you need to do some tweaking, you need to do, this lets people know that it is, you're real, that you're, you're still going through these struggles, they're still gonna come up against stuff. They wanna follow you, they wanna see what you're doing. Um, <clears throat> so conflict. And then when you get to the end, you've got achievement, achievement, and most importantly, transformation. And this, um, this as well, is what most Hollywood scripts follow as well. I think called the, the uh, Heroes Two Journeys. So the hero is going through the struggles, the plan, the conflict to get to achievement. They want to reach a goal. They're trying to win a race or, or do something. The other, the other thing, the other story that's being told is the transformation, the transformation they're going through while they're going through this. So, and that's explained um, together. Again, the, the, I'll put some resources below. So we're gonna have the Epiphany Bridge script. So you can basically go through there. I've asked a bunch of questions. You can answer the questions Erase the, um, open it up in a Word document, answer the questions, erase the titles, and there's your, that's your story. Um, and then some more on um, the Heroes to Journeys as well. Once you've got these stories down, guys, these, this is what you base everything around. Your story, people wanna know what your story is. They don't wanna know how amazing the product is, or how, well, some people do, but most people generally, they don't care about all the, the science behind the products. They don't care about all that stuff uh, unless they're specifically looking for the product that you're selling. You need to explain to them, going back to the value, your story is gonna add so much more value. And you need to make sure that the story and the value that you're providing through your story is more than the product. Because if you're selling a thousand dollar package and you're only telling a five hundred dollar um, story, it's not gonna work. You need to make sure that the story you're taking someone on, the value that you're giving them and the value that they're, they, they're gonna get when they join you over here is much higher than the cost of the product. 
this is what it all comes down to guys this get rid of a lot of the a lot of the fluff and get clear on your story just the same as it is to get clear on your visions and your goals um, this is almost this is more important than that i would say um, and once you're clear on once you're clear on your story you can put it into content and all of your publishing um, when it's, when you're explaining it to someone you're going to start you know you're going to target the emotions you're going to target the struggles you're going to target all these things that you can relate to as well that they'll be able to relate to instead of coming over here and saying you want to make you know you need a certain chemical or whatever it is the techno babble so that's it guys that's the story how to sell your story that's why it's so important for you to, to get this stuff dialed in